this is uh, the list of the items that uh, I recommend follow when you install a new generator in a boat. We are going to follow those steps. The first step is size the generator in kilowatts. Calculate how much is the capacity of the generator in kilowatts. The second one is select where is the location appropriated inside of the engine room to install the generator. If you remember, the unload states that the power in watts should be equal to the voltage in volts times the intensity in amps. In other words, in this particular example, the power should be 240 times 80, because this is the capacity of the breaker. 240 times 80 is 19,200. Okay, this is 19.2 kilowatts. I can round it up to 20 kilowatts. This is the, the capacity of the generator that I need to supply power. Okay, if I have 20,000 watts, how many horsepower are? It's simple. The horsepower is basically 20,000 divided by 746. This is 26.8 horsepower. In this particular example, for that generator, you need minimum 27 horsepower. I recommend use a separate group of batteries for the new generator. Uh, some people say, can I use the batteries of the bow thruster? Can I use the batteries of the, of the engines? No, the recommendation is install a separate battery with enough capacity. Remember, the calculation of the battery depends on the capacity of the star model. Where you found that information? In the catalog of the, of the generator. The catalog of the generator recommend the battery, the battery necessary for that engine. The muffler is an important element uh, because uh, depending of uh, the position of the muffler, uh, the engine, is, the generator is considered properly installed or not. Be careful with the installation of the muffler. The muffler should be located below the level of the generator minimum two inches. This is an important recommendation. I have a lot of experience with generators improperly installed and uh, after the installation of the generator, the generator have problems and uh, the insurance company, the first step is verify where is located the muffler. The muffler is not located below the, 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 the button of the generator. No warranty, no claim. The secret is this. Check the exhaust manifold. Check the exhaust manifold and verify where this is the exhaust manifold. This is the heat exchanger. Look, that's the true hole. The water, the salt water enter, pass through the heat exchanger. The salt water enter into the exhaust, the exhaust pipe, the exhaust pipe. In this, in this point, the exhaust gases, the exhaust gases are mixed with the salt water. This is the point where the gases and the salt water are mixed together. Other important element that uh, you need to uh, keep in consideration is the installation, the installation of uh, the fuel water separator. The fuel water separator or primary filter or water separator filter should be located before the fuel is coming from the fuel tank and the fuel continue into the secondary filter and after the secondary filter, the fuel enter in the fuel injection pump. Uh, that fuel filter is located outside of the of the generator and uh, that uh, fuel uh, uh, water separator uh, is uh, rated in gallons in gallons per hour and uh, you verify the manual the service manual and in the service manual uh, you have the recommendation related with the water separator filter or primary the exhaust manifold here gases with raw water the gases with raw water enter into the water separator. The water separator internally have three compartments separated internally. One compartment here, the second compartment, and the third one. In each compartment, you have an input of a, with a pipe. Okay, I connect the hose, the output of the muffler, with a hose here. In this, the first compartment, I have water with a smoke. On top is separated. This is connected this with this. Okay, when the smoke with the water pass in front of the second compartment for gravity, the water goes down. Okay, what is the separation in between the level of the water line and the vented loop? 
the separation should be minimum 12 inches. I recommend the maximum that you can, it's better. What is the idea? If you check here the vented loop, when, when the water is going up, the air over there is drained here with a check valve and the, fuel, and the, and the water continue. And I'm going to explain later in, a, in our book of uh, auxiliary system, this equipment in details, the vented loop and the difference between vented loop, anti-siphon and P-trap. Okay. <music>